So what we got here is hopefully if it is what I ordered, um, the Fire HD eight plus. Um, it was like sixty five bucks. So I am just going to see if we can side load Play Store on here with a Mac tool uh, now, anyway, on GitHub. And then ultimately, I want to see how it runs uh, Wild Rift, which is the mobile version of League of Legends. Uh, anyway, I was never that good at it. I'm still not that good at the mobile version, but it's my go to game. Anyone that knows me will tell you I won't shut up about it. Uh, we will get right into it. This is the package. Do it, make sure it gets both cameras here. Here. Okay. So there it is. Fire HD 8 Plus. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay. Charging cable, brother. Okay, and this is the gray one. All right. Back is gray. Small. Smaller than I realized. <laughs> probably way better than playing on a phone if it works so we got some details about installing it care um yeah just your power to usb and then a power cable which is turning the usb c to standard usb we'll end up using this to connect it to my mac hopefully all right well let's fire this baby up here and there we go amazon HD Fire 8, Fire 8 HD Plus, whatever. Whoa. <laughs> That's kind of creepy, actually. Automatically notice that I've got other Amazon devices. Use those to determine what my account was, I guess. From that, determine what the Wi-Fi is. Kind of set it up. That's pretty cool. Or scary, I don't know. Let me updating. I'm sure you cannot see that at all. Okay, so the updates. I'll set that down for a minute. Still installing the update here. Uh, GitHub, Fire, Fire Tool, Fire Tools. Oh, this is it. Yeah, so I think this is it right here. Fire Tools. This is Mr. Hayden, Mr. Hayden VP on GitHub. The Fire Toolbox is only works on Windows, uh, and I think maybe Linux. This is almost kind of the answer to that. That this is for uh, potentially. Uh, all three OSs still updating the, the tablet. Did it finish? Yeah, finished. Okay. Okay. We have made it. So the next thing is we need to turn on the developer mode. There we go. Settings. Okay. Settings right here. And then uh, I think in here you go to about. Yep. And then about fire. And then I think you just hit this a bunch of times. So where it says serial number. So it says you're in the about the tablet and you hit in their serial number there. I thought that was it. And there it is. Okay, so now developer options is there. So we're in developer options. Um, we want to turn them on. So up here in the corner. Yes, that's on. We want to turn on USB debugging, I believe. So we're going to turn that on. Again, you know, in about fire tablet. If they get serial number, you hit that like seven or nine times, something like that. And then it will enable this developer options, developer options, go into developer options, turn them on, and you turn debugging on, you can see there. So this is Fire Tools. This is some tool I've never used it before, uh, but it looks pretty promising. Uh, so down here, he has a uh, Linux Mac OS commands you can run. So I'm just gonna copy this out. So I'm doing command C on the keyboard. I like to run my commands one by one, so I'll just do this. You can also right click and hit copy. Um, so I'm going to open up terminal now. Another thing you can do is you go to the command space bar. You got to bring up Spotlight and you just type terminal and you just hit enter. And that's another way to launch it. Anyhow, I'm going to copy out this first command. Uh, let's make directory here. We'll call it Fire Tools. And we'll go into Fire Tools. I will run that command. There we go, running it. That's over 100 megs. That's 100, 114 megs. Okay. So there it is. There's Fire Tools. That's it. So the next thing we want to do is unzip that. And it looks like we just want to, yeah, we're just going to unzip it, remove it, see the end of the directory. Safe. 
You will probably need to install Homebrew if you don't have it. Brew.sh. And this is the command here. If you're on a Mac, install this. Just run that. That will install Homebrew. But you know that if you're on a Mac, probably anyway. So now that we, once you have Brew, you need Python. We're going to install PyOM. PyOM. And then we're going to say install. And that will probably tell us what we can do. 312.7. That's the latest. All right, to open up my uh, Z shell RC, let me just stick that in there. Somewhere, um, it's all up again. Right here. And then we're going to restart our shell. We're going to go back into our fire tools directory. Um, we're going to check Python now. Okay, so there you go. So 312.7. Now we should be able to run our all right there we go we basically got stuck a little there because we had to install python first so we installed pyom uh, since that's a cleaner way of handling python installations and then once that was installed we were able to uh, run this pip install our requirements text we should be able to just run python main.py okay so he probably does not have tkinter in there let's see pyom tkinter We want to install TCL TK. Apparently, we're going to end up having to do this over again. So let's just make sure we have this stuff. All right. So let's first pyom uninstall. Go. Just first going to remove that. All right, now set these environment variables. Um, and then we're going to run biome install that we did before. So, so there we go. And see, notice that the difference is that it actually built it with PCLTK. Probably end up making a gist or something with the code to run. There we go. We're installed. Let's run our requirements. There we go. Hey, this is unknown, undetected because we have not plugged it in yet. Okay. Nope. Oh, here was the setup instructions. Okay. Skip one step here. We're going to go back to settings. I don't think that should have anything to do with it. But Device options, okay. developer options, default USB configuration. There it is, default. Um, oh, there we go, file change. I don't see it detecting the device. All right, we're gonna plug into a different port. I've got a ton of USB hubs and whatnot. There we go. USB debugging connected, it says. Yeah, ADP, ADB command not found. Okay, so clearly I'm missing. Okay, software requirements, ADP. I see. Okay, so this did have some other things in it. Ah, that's what we have installed. Okay, so we're going to install the Android platform tools. We're going to paste in brew install Android platform tools. Let's see what happens if I just. ADB servers, ADP vendor keeps them up. Try ADB kill server, that seems wrong. Device unauthorized. Allo oh, we have to allow. All right, always allow. Here we go. That's what I missed. You have to allow it to, to communicate with it. I'm going to kill it and try to connect one more time. There we go. Boom. Look at that. Okay. Fire HD8 2022 12th gen. So it sees it now. There it is, right? Device Fire HD 8, Fire OS 8.3. First, eBloat. Let's see if this works. Okay, cool. Definitely was more stuff in there. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. How cool is that? I just cleaned up all sorts of junk that was on the desktop. I don't want to do anything crazy here. You can probably do all you want with your device. All I want to do is install Google, uh, the Google Play Store. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the Google Play Store.
Um, let's see. If, let's see if that did it. That may just be good. Um, okay. Okay, and we do have a Play Store icon on there, right? Play Store, right? So we're just gonna open that up. Hopefully it works. That's a good sign. All right, there we go. Logging into Google Play Store. My Google account. See that? All right, and there we go. I think we're we're in the Google Store. There we go. Google Play Store. So whoever says that doesn't work on the Fire HD 8 Plus, some people did say that in the Amazon reviews. Here's proof that it does work. And there it is. Wild Rift and install. I'm about the furthest away from our router down here, so this is far from the most optimal way to download something. There we go. We're going to play. Starting Wild Rift. Where is it? It is loaded. Actually, disconnect from this and plug it into that better. Oops, I'm sorry. Hey, look, wait it out. Now it says verifying files. So that's a good sign. There we go. Now we're charging. Right. Hey. So newer version confirm. All right. Logging in. Downloading essential essential assets. So it must be the way the game loads now if you're installing it from scratch. That uh, in initial intro video probably just isn't there. So far, the, the interface seems to be working. There it is. Oh, I see. There's like the, the main pack. Okay, well, this is going to take a while. So we're going to call that good for getting the Play Store loaded as well as getting um, a Wild Rift installed from the Play Store. Definitely loads. I have no idea how it's going to run. But yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. Hopefully, this helped you to get your uh, tablet set up with the uh, Google Play Store and/or uh, the best game that's on the Play Store, which is Wild Rift.